sure to check out Agile's Geeks for your figures and collectibles. This video and YouTube channel is rated PG-13, so that means this channel is not for anyone under the age of 13. So what is going on my fellow collectors? How is everybody doing today? Daredevil 18 here, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Mafex Medicom Toy comic version Wolverine. So let's get into it right away and take a quick look at the box. So as you can see here, we do get a basic looking style box when it comes to Medicom toys. So we do get the window right there in the front of the box. On the left side, we do get a cool comic book style look there, which does look pretty cool. On the bottom, we do get an image of the figure. It says Wolverine X-Men, Wolverine comic version action figure, Marvel Mafex, and Medicom toy. And then here is the bottom of the box. We do get the barcode and blow with the well, silver. Nobody cares about it. Then here is the top of the box. And then the one side here, we do get a cool image of the figure once again. Same thing on the other side, and it does say Mafex figure number 96. Wow, they're about to hit 100 soon. Then the back here, we do get a bunch of really cool poses you can get the figure into along with most of the accessories. But anyway, that is the packaging. Let's get this figure. I'm going to take a closer look at this bub. Alrighty, taking a closer detailed look, and Mafex did a, a dope job with this figure, but there is some QC issues that I am not too happy with. There is paint chips and and paint spots all throughout the figure like there's yellow paint over here paint chips on the thigh right there uh, some some paint splatter or not painted parts of the blue right there on the glove it's just some even a paint chip up here on the collarbone i don't know what happened man but even back here you have some paint chips paint bleeding Another paint chip over there, paint chip over there. Like, I don't know what the hell is going on with this yellow paint, man. So, not happy about that at all. And the angry teeth gritted face, which we'll go over during the accessories, has some weird paint work on the top of the head on the yellow. I'll show you that later. And then another QC issue is the, the damn arms pop off so freaking easily. And it's so damn irritating. All you gotta do is pop them back on. But they, they, this one especially pops off so easily at the bicep swivel so it just looks like a straight peg there's no like uh security that that pegs into it to keep it in there i mean it snaps when it pegs back on but it just doesn't stay on there good so not happy about that either so mafex is going back to some qc issues there and i'm, I'm hoping this isn't something that's constant in the future because that was a big issue with this company before but besides those QC issues the figure looks awesome man and this is definitely my favorite Wolverine figure that I have ever owned I think Mafex did an awesome job with it the head sculpts look great I love how big the ear pieces look and how they stick out that's that's the Wolverine I remember back in the 90s the face sculpts I think turned out really nice the paint where the yellow meets the black is pretty good on this head sculpt here same with for the white, where the white meets the black for the eyes, and then same with the skin tone as well. They did a pretty good job with it. A little bit of a paint error right there on the black, though. And then I have some yellow paint on his ear up there, and over there as well. God damn it. And then more back there. Jeez Louise. And it looks like there's a bit of shading on the back there also, which is pretty cool. And for the torso here, I didn't think there was going to be shading on the figure, but there is some shading on the yellow there, which looks pretty good. The sculpt detail looks great. The blue for the tiger stripes. The paints are right on them. Definitely could have been better. Like they, they should have added more blue on the point over there and on that one. This one's okay. Not the best over here with the line work. They missed the stripe a little bit where it's sculpted on the bottom one. So not the best work on the stripes. They could have added more blue back here on this side. Same with on that side. But we do get some nice shading on the back as well and then the arms here they did paint on on the arm hair which looks fine elbow joints blend in really nice i do like how these shoulder pad pieces are on ball pegs kind of like the sh figure arts goku figures and the belt is a separate piece but it is glued i believe to the back of wolverine's blue underwear piece and the gloves look all right they are sculpted on there Kind of looks like they're just painted, but they're not. And I do like the blue paint. It's a nice metallic uh, blue that they used. And uh, the, the, the belt piece is a softer, rubbery-type plastic, as you can see right there. And then the legs here, 
Very nice sculpt detail all throughout it. We get that very subtle shading. Again, knee joints blend in really nice. We get some more shading on the back of the thighs as well. And then the boots here, I think, turned out great, man. Really dig the way the boots look. The paint where the black meets the blue is pretty damn clean over here. A little bit of the black is bleeding onto the blue, though. And the feet turned out pretty good also. Very nice sculpt and paintwork on the bottom. Not much going on, but overall, I, I think Mifex did a nice job with the paint. There is some paint issues with the paint chips and the tiger stripes could have been painted better. Then there's the other QC issue with the arms popping off at the bicep swivel, which definitely is not good. But anyway, let's continue on. Moving on to the accessories, Wolverine is included with an okay amount of stuff. I feel like they could have included a yelling, screaming face sculpt. They could have included some open hands with the claws out. They could have included maybe his brown jacket or something. You know, they could have included a few more things with this figure for sure. But what we do get first and foremost, we do get the Mafex stand here. So we do have the base, the arm, and the clamp there has the basic Mafex stand articulation so we do get that and then we do get three interchangeable head sculpts and then we do have his mask that he removes and is hanging off his neck and starting on the left there we do get the basic stern masked face which is the one that does come on the figure out of the packaging and they did do a very nice job with that one i just have a couple of yellow paint spots on the black part on the mask not too many though and then in the middle we do get my favorite head sculpt which is the angry teeth gritted head sculpt and they did an excellent job with that one where the yellow meets the black not the best and then there is a really weird issue that i noticed with the paint it's just really odd looking i don't know if the camera's picking it up but it looks like they put yellow here and some of it came off over here and on the back and it's like they repainted it it's so weird and it's it's ugly man i don't know if you can see that see how it's like like looks cracked kind of it's so weird looking I've, I've never seen that man and if that was the issue they should have just entirely redid a head sculpt and not did something that 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 lazily you know what i mean that's not cool man so that that is really odd i've never seen that uh with a figure before so we do get the two masked head sculpts and then we finally get the unmasked head sculpt which i think looks great and looks like how wolverine did in the 90s looks much better than the marvel legends unmasked logan head sculpts and much better than the mezco unmasked head sculpts and i like the blue that they added in the hair with the black the sculpt of the hair looks great i, I love the the basic stern facial expression they just did a very nice job throughout that head sculpt they did a great job on all of them it's just that that some weird pain issues with this figure, man. And then the last thing we get is the the mask that drapes over his back around his neck there, which turned out really nice. The paint and sculpt looks great on it, and it is a softer, rubbery-type plastic. And I'll show you how to get that on, along with swapping the heads right now. And swapping the heads on this Wolverine is very simple and basic when it comes to a Mafex figure. So it is connected onto a ball peg, so when you want to remove it, just pull up. The head pops right off. Take the new head. And just pop that on as simple as that and for the mask when he's not wearing it all you do is just place it around the neck right there and it stays on there pretty good as long as you push it all the way down then pop the head right back on and then there you go as simple as that and that looks really good once you have it on the figure there it does look like his he, he took his mask off you know what i mean and it's just hanging there so really really do dig that accessory they did include with this wolverine and he does look pretty dope with the unmasked head on as well so we do get the mask and the three interchangeable head sculpts and then we finally get six alternate hands and starting on the right here we do get a pair of fists of course which do come on the figure out of the packaging then we do get a pair of open resting type hands and finally we get my favorite hands which is probably what most people's favorite hands are when it comes to wolverine figure and that is the hack and slash claw hands and mefex did a beautiful job with these man i love the way the claws look i love the uh, metallic silver that they used for the paint it has a very blade type look to it and they are sharp so be careful of that and i love how perfectly straight they are with one another really nice job with the claws there definitely my favorite 
accessory and thing to this Wolverine figure, the claw hands. They just did a beautiful job with them. And we do get some very nice sculpt and paint detail throughout all six hands. And they are also very easy to swap out as well. And you know, like what I always say around this part during the review when I say that, it's always a good thing because you don't want to risk breaking your wrist joint on your figurine. But anyway, that is all the accessories included with Wolverine. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review, shall we? Now, for the height of the Wolverine to the very top of his head, it looks like he's about five inches and three quarters of an inch tall. And then here he is compared to the Revoltech Amazing Yamaguchi Gambit, the Mafex comic version Deadpool, the comic version Spider-Man, and the comic version Venom. And I think this Wolverine scales perfectly with the other comic version Mafex figures, and he also does scale really well with this Revoltech Gambit also. And then here he is compared to the Hasbro Marvel Legends Nightcrawler, the Mystical 112 Cable, Logan, and Old Man Logan. And I think this Wolverine scales pretty damn good with this Mystical Cable. And he also scales pretty well with this Marvel Legends Nightcrawler. And then here he is compared to the Storm Collectible Cyborg Smoke, the SH Figure Arts Sage Mode Naruto, the Mefex Justice League Batman, and the Figma Black Swordsman Guts. And then here he is compared to the SH Figure Arts Awakened Warrior Super Saiyan Goku and the Mezco 112 Deadpool. Anyway, there's some quick comparisons. Let's keep moving on with the rest of the review. So now for the articulation, and this is definitely one of the best parts to this figure here. Like usual, Mafex worked in the articulation really well on this figure here. Now Wolverine does have two joints at the neck. The upper neck joint is just like the Mafex comic version Spider-Man and Deadpool. It is a barbell type joint that is bent a little bit. So with both joints you can get Logan to look up a really good amount. And then looking down he does look directly down. So that is definitely awesome. You do get pivot at both joints there. So excellent neck pivot with Logan here. And then of course both joints do swivel as well so excellent neck articulation with wolverine here then we do get a point of articulation at the torso and at, and at the waist the torso joint on mine is pretty tight i can't get it to go any further forward than that it does go back a little more than going forward and then there is pivot there but like i said that joint whoa really tight as, as you heard the sound and see how i'm struggling to articulate it. Gosh darn it. The waist joint has more looseness to it, so it's easier to articulate. Not loose, but it's not as difficult to articulate as the torso there, and the torso also does swivel. Now the waist here does get much better movement compared to the torso, so with both joints, Logan crunches forward pretty well, and both joints goes back decently. You do get much better pivot at the waist there, and then of course it does swivel, so not too happy about how tight that damn torso joint is, man. Now for the arms here, as I mentioned, the shoulder pad pieces are connected with ball pegs, so they can move around a little bit. I do like that point of articulation. Now for the arms here, we do have a little bit of a circular motion there, as you can see. Like We do have like a, a vertical butterfly joint there, and it is horizontal as well, but it doesn't really move out much at all as you can see there but i do like the movement at the shoulder and then the arms do go out to the sides a lot more than 90 degrees so that is definitely awesome and they do go up and down we do have the true bicep swivel double jointed elbows that do bend in all the way then we do have a ball hinge on the wrist so it does swivel and hinges back and forth always have to push them Darn bicep swivel joints back in. And for the legs here, we do get a little bit of a drop down leg joint, but it doesn't drop down too much as you can see right there. So Logan can kick forward. The crotch piece is a softer rubbery type plastic, so it really won't hinder the leg articulation too much. But he can kick forward a little more than 90 degrees, so that's definitely good. Goes to the back a tiny bit, but it starts going outward the further out you go. And let's see if he can... Jean-Claude Van damn it, and he cannot but just shy of 90 degrees, so pretty good leg movement with Logan here. Then you just get a little bit of a hip swivel there, not too much. We do have double jointed knees that do bend back all the way, and then we do have a little bit of a swivel at the boot. It moves better on my uh, left leg compared to my right leg there. I guess it's stuck on the right leg, unless it's not supposed to move, but 
my moves on there unless that's a QC issue. And then the uh, the the ankles here, you do get swivel. They hinge up a really good amount, hinge down really well, and then you do get a beautiful 90 degree bend. Ankle pivot, and then we do have a good toe hinge as well. So overall, like usual with Mafex, we get some great articulation with Wolverine here, and I had tons of fun posing this figure around, putting him in different types of poses, and you're going to be able to get him into pretty much any type of Wolverine white poses and I'm about to show you some of those poses right about now. But anyway that is my review of the Mefex comic version Wolverine. Hope you enjoyed it. If I had to rate this figure with detail I'd give it a 7. Articulation I'd give it a 9.5. Accessories I'd give it a 7.5 and then the overall quality I would give an even 6. If you would like to know the price and where to buy this figure I did have mine imported from Japan but my buddy from Ageless Geeks did just get this in stock so you can check over at their website at agelessgeeks.com. If you can't find something on their website I do highly recommend going through their Instagram or Facebook page. I will put more information in the description below. And if you would like to support the channel don't forget to subscribe and click on that notification bell and if you liked it feel free to give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it Oh well, I guess you didn't like it, but thanks for watching. I will see you later, bub. Darn cool. And then the bottom there, we do get a dope and Wolverine figures as Wolverine X Men, Wolverine comic version action figure mark from. For Wolverine here and Mafex, like usual, worked the on. It worked out of that. Mafex figures and he scales pretty well with this Regal Tech Gambit is also. Whoa, what? <laughs> the Mesco 112 Cable 112. Wow, wow, wow. Marvel Legends Nightcrawler, the Mefex 112 kit. Mefex, what? Mefex 112 cable? Mixing up figure lines there. Moving on to the accessories, Wolverine is included with an okay. The torso joint is really tight on my figure. Damn you, you bastard. Then at the short. <laughs> oh my god. You goddamn arms, these joints piss me, whoops, that's the wrong way, these joints piss me the hell off.